When I came back, I was confident in myself, but I still really didn't know what is it that I'm bringing back. And I think one of the the main things was about reclaiming our cultural heritage. Mm -hmm. So we reflect back in the time when we were going to school around in Rose Prairie and Fort St. John area. There was no program for knowing who the beaver people were. We were just considered dirty Indians and no good for nothing. That kind of mentality was around here. We had to say, okay, but what is our story? What is our history? And so we were really starting to look back into it. And one of the things that was really consistent in my life is my grandpa was a songkeeper. They always got to do tea dances and got together with the other communities to sing these dreamer songs. So then I started organizing those things, and people really wanted to hear those songs. And Robin Riddington, who was an anthropologist that documented a lot of the the old timers in the 60s and 70s, had a lot of these tapes that he recorded them. I had a conversation with him, and he said to me, he said, you know what, we have a problem here because there's so many requests coming from all these communities to get copies of the tape. But every time I'm copying it, we're losing the original context, and I'm just afraid one day it's going to break. Like, we've got to digitalize it and make CDs out of them. So that was one of my first tasks, to find the funds to do it so that we can start bringing that back to the community and distributing it.